Hey, how are you? Welcome back to a very special Louisiana edition of Gooned Up with none other than Megan making money. Megan, how are you? I'm fantastic and I'm so excited to goon up with you. You're the first female guest I've had on the show since Hawaii. My Chinese cleaning lady. Hey, how are ya? I'm glad to follow in her footsteps. Yeah, they are very, well, they're very small shoes to fill, but, um, you know, figuratively, they're very big shoes to fill. Right. But I think you can do it. And um, yeah, I'm pumped. I've never made Creole Rangoons before, so this is gonna be a treat. What are you thinking today? I think we do one, one of my favorite dishes to make. It's a labor of love, but a gumbo goon. Gumbo goon. The I name mean, itself is just wonderful. Gumbo goons, yes, that rolls off the tongue. And gumbo is like the Louisiana food. I would say yes, it's one of them between like a po' boy or a seafood boil. I feel like those are, you know, those are what you're gonna get when you're in, in Louisiana. Okay, now what is the difference between gumbo and jambalaya? So a jambalaya doesn't have a root, and that's why I had to make the, the gumbo last night because, as I said, it's a la this thing is a labor of love. And whenever I make a root, it takes about an hour and 20 because I get it real dark. I like, you know, the darker it is, the more taste you have um, in your gumbo. It's a little bit deeper, more flavorful. Um, so made that last night, and then, you know, you have your chicken and your sausage, and um, we're gonna try to make a goon out of it. We got some rice, we got some cream cheese. I think it's gonna be really good. Now, this is like uh, less soupy than your normal gumbo? Yes. This is basically, I took two big scoops of the meat out and kind of let some of the juices slide off and then put it in here and let it solidify a little bit because uh, this would be kind of hard to put liquid into a goon. This seems perfect because we combine this with a little bit of rice and cream cheese. It will be like the perfect goon filling consistency. Right. Um, and then what do you have uh, planned for the second Rangoon? Uh, there's a dish at Jazz Fest that I love to get. There's a bunch of food vendors there. Something called a crawfish pistolet. And so what they do is they take a nice pistolet, which is like a, you know, a light French airy bread, and they deep fry it, and then they stuff it with this cheesy crawfish goodness. And so I was thinking that and how good that would be inside of a goon wrapper. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Cause that almost sounds like a Rangoon except it's using deep fried bread instead of a wonton wrapper. Exactly, so I'm thinking it's gonna be fantastic. It's very rich, you can only have one. I'm minutes. gonna have more than one Rangoon though. My rule for this show is I don't go over 12. I don't go over 10 Rangoons, I think. I mean, I have in the past, but it's just- Maybe a tummy ache. You get goon gut. Oh, goon yeah. gut. Ooh. Goon gut is not great. <laughs> All right, I'm pumped. So let's uh, start with the gumbo goons. Seeing you have already made it, do all we have to do is just combine it with the rice and cream cheese? That's what I'm thinking. I think we get that big bowl. I've never put rice in a goon before. I think it's good. This is the test if you can kind of like clump it in the middle if you grab like a piece like this. Okay, that looks good. Now, there is no wrong way to wrap a wonton, so you don't have to wrap these the same way. How's that song go? There's no wrong way to wrap a wonton. There's no wrong way to fry a goon. That was beautiful, much like this wonton's looking. I do have to time your GPM. Okay. If you don't mind. Now, this isn't like, you don't have to feel bad about having like a slow GPM because it's about the flavor of the goon. It's not about how fast you can wrap them. Right. But this is a good test of skill. Okay. Do you like roll a good joint? Yes, very good. Okay. See, I can I can wrap a good Rangoon. I roll the worst joints of all time. So maybe it'll be opposite for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't, never We know. shall see. One, two, three, go. Now, a little tip, I wouldn't put them in all of the wrappers because you might not have time to wrap them oh, all. Oh, so, interesting, yeah, I didn't think like, about that. Yep. <laughs> 30 seconds left. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's all nice and closed. I mean, 
Yeah, she's she's focused on quality here, not quantity. Yeah, I kind of, I'm kind Taking of. Taking her sweet ass time. Yeah, my fault, But th that's a beautiful goon. That's a beautiful goon. I mean, I would rather have it look pretty and, and taste good than just be a sloppy mess, right? Yeah, yeah, because the rule is if any of the goons like are not fully sealed, they don't count, but, and you are done. Mm -hmm. Well, one goon per minute. Um, you know what? That's like a half. I'm gonna give you two. Okay. I'm gonna give you two. Two goons. Two goons in one minute. Not impressive, but at least I think that the taste and the quality will be there, I think. Actually, we have another Louisiana guy in our office, Ben Mintz. I kind of want to see what his GPM is. Yeah, we got to make sure he washes his hands first, though. Um, <laughs> do we? Because, like, these are all going to be fried in oil, and I feel like I don't the, know. the I just oil... I like he will... <laughs> he has some, like, primitive some stuff that will break through that oil. He's like a cockroach. You can't kill that man. Yes. I mean, I have seen him try to make a grilled cheese, and it was shocking. Oh, what, what the doing? fuck oh, is that? <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck is <laughs> that? <laughs> Look at Tony. Yes, Brittany. It's fire. We it's have it's fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he has ever cooked a meal for himself in his life. Um, let me just see if he's here all right so mince i will have you back on the show at the end to sample all these goons got it but um i just wanted to measure your gpm as well being another louisiana guy in the office so gpm is goons per minute you're gonna have one minute and just see how many uh rangoons you can wrap is there can i see a trial on how to I've never, yeah i can't yeah. say i've ever done it so i'd like to see yes i'd like i need to see a trial we have gumbo filling. Yes, we, we, we have already made some, some sweet Louisiana smells up here in this kitchen. I got a shout out to Megan making money. She's a fire cook. She is. Now, are, are you a big gumbo guy? I do like gumbo, especially in the wintertime. You know, it's a, it's a warms your soul kind of thing. Never seen a gumbo rain good? No. Oh, I thought nice. you might go when you were going to Louisiana. I was like, oh, he's probably going to go like crawfish rain good. Well, making those too. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. See what happens when you cross cultures and shit. So I don't even know if you watched me wrap that. Okay, let's do one. Let me let me see. One. Okay, we'll do one I more. I saw you put like a little in the middle. You don't want to overdo it. It's like yeah. the right amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do about like a tablespoon to a teaspoon to a tablespoon. I close it here. Okay. You seal it. Then you kind of crimp it, crimp it around it. Yeah, and then I just take one corner over the other, do another pinch. Uh, but you know, there's no wrong way to wrap a long time. You I, I feel like there could be. One, Hopefully. two, three, go. And then I usually wet the sides. Just to... After last Friday's grilled cheese, that's completely, there's nowhere to go but up, boys. <sighs> I would hope so. I feel like I'm making it like a cannoli. That's probably not good. That's not very good. That's very poor. No. That's very poor. Let's try. We'll try a better one. Okay. <laughs> yep. Had you ever made a grilled cheese before? Yeah, I had. Okay. So what happened there? I have made grilled cheese in the heat of the moment. I feel like I panicked. I uh, did not slice cheese. There, there were a lot of mistakes. It was, it was just. It was like watching a comedy of errors, to be honest. It was like one mistake happened, and the next thing you know, 30 happened, and I just rolled with it, as I always do, but... Okay. okay, and we are done. All right. Well, hey, you know what? As bad as that performance was, at least I didn't almost burn the kitchen down this week, so... Stay on camera. Okay. I did say there's no wrong way to wrap a wonton, but yeah, this is... This is wrong. It has to be sealed. Uh, so, now... That I'm, was like, look more like a cannoli. Now that it's crimped, Okay, this is a Ben Mintz style Rangoon. I think he's and giving me too much credit because that's a that's a wonton Don doing surgery. It looks like a blintz, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what a I was going A lot like for. a blintz. Now, I will say, Ben Mintz knows a lot about food. Big food. I know how to pick restaurants. Yes, he knows how to find really good food. I just doesn't really know how to cook it. I don't really believe that you have made a grilled cheese before because like, the thing is, I hadn't made one since I was a kid. You just it's had probably to, been about thirty years. You just got to slice. You just got to slice the bread more, slice, slice the, the cheese. cheese more. I mean, I don't hold anything against you for like setting the fucking pan on fire. I mean, I don't know I how that either. happened, but I but I was just more upset that you just you, you didn't slice the cheese. Well, thank you for your one and a half goons. I will have you back on when these are done. I can't wait for the taste testing. I love seeing the Louisiana influence of Barstool Sports. Keep Let's go, on. baby.
think now that we have these, we can move on to the wrapping the crawfish ones. Okay, so what is in this? So that, what basically this is, it's just um, the Holy Trinity, what we call it down south, which is celery, onions, and bell pepper. I cooked that down and a little bit of butter, and then I added some evaporated milk and some Velveeta, and now we're just reheating it so that we can combine the crawfish into this and then the cream cheese in at, um, at the end. But so I, I learned what the Holy Trinity was from Stale Cracker. Mm -hmm. That that guy on TikTok. Yeah. Time to hit it with that Holy Trinity, dude. You ready? God of the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Pope is the garlic. What's it? What is what is it saying? Uh, put a cracker on it, or uh, put put that put on a, a cracker, dude. Put, yes. Or early. Put, yeah. put that on a cracker, dude. Put that gator on a cracker, dude. That money, so I said, bon. Yeah, we, we went to his like studio. He he made a roux as well. Have you ever had a crab rangoon? Nope, never even heard of a crab. Say it again? I think we had like gator gumbo with him. I don't know. I, Gator's I good. Was... I love alligator. It's very it's, it's very like much to me like a like a chicken. It's not an amphibian, right? It's a mammal? It's not a mammal? No. It's not a mammal. No, it lays eggs. It lays it's eggs. Definitely not a mammal. <laughs> I just um, said... <laughs> it is a um, reptile. Okay. And then frogs and turtles are, are amphibians. amphibians. Okay, yeah. These crawfish are from Eunice, Louisiana, so that's probably 20 minutes outside of Lafayette. What did you season the, these so, crawfish with? Whenever you get, um, you know, Louisiana crawfish, they are gonna have that little bit of like fishy taste because they're authentic, they're packaged, they're, you know, peeled and packaged. So what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of crab boil, but I like to put a little bit into my crawfish when I cook them off so it gives that crawfish boil flavor. I like instead that. of just crawfish. Okay. Does that make now, sense? When is crawfish season in Louisiana? So it's Easter time, and then, but I will say this year, it's a terrible, terrible um, like harvest? harvest because oh, okay. it was so cold down there. Yeah. So what they do is people that own rice ponds, they alternate because what they do is they'll take the rice, they'll grow the rice. Once the rice is, is picked, they take the crawfish, baby crawfish from the crawfish pond, they'll put them in the rice pond. And what that does is the baby crawfish eat all of the decaying rice that's left in the field and that's how they start to grow and then they put the traps in and start feeding them through the traps but essentially you're just rotating rice and crawfish every okay. single year and so if you own that's a crawfish cool. pond or if you own rice you're you, you're, you have money <laughs> i think this is warm enough now to where we can probably incorporate the crawfish let's do it go ahead let's pour these bad boys in I think my first time eating crawfish was in China and I forgot to take out the poop chute. Yeah, you always in, want to take out the, the booty hole is what I like Yeah, to. and I got like very bad food poisoning. So that adding. looks that looks incredible. And then we're gonna add a little bit of a little cheese, bit of, cream, cream cheese, but we can do that once we uh, put it into the bowl to make it yep. kind of cool down and be able to handle it. Oop. You guys see how much I'm struggling to hold up this pan with my left hand? I mean, that could almost work as a filling on its own. Right, but do you want to add a little cream cheese or do you think just to make it a, an official goon or? I mean, that's no, a, no, no, because uh, it, it's it's a goon. It doesn't need cream cheese as long as it has some sort of Do you want to try dairy. that and see if you want to add anything? Do you have to take out my Zen? <laughs> good. That's so good. Do you think it needs the cream cheese? No. So do you have so far on like a favorite goon that you've made? I mean, one of the favorite goons I made, but it was also kind of like based on the whole story behind it too, is my first time going spear fishing in mm -hmm. the Bahamas. I speared my own spiny lobsters mm -hmm. and then we made spiny lobster rangoons. And spiny lobster tastes a little bit like crawfish, so these could be similar. Wow, I mean, these are gonna be so good. But I do think, yeah, we're gonna have to limit ourselves to just like, like so three you don't of get these. Goon gut. I yeah. Don't, I don't know what it is, and I also Ooh. don't wanna experience it. Do you think we should put this Creole seasoning on the gumbo ones and the crawfish ones or um, just I think, the gumbo? I think we could dust both of them. You don't want to put too, too much because if you look very at the back, light. the sodium, very yeah. high. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Salty, right? <laughs> So what's the first goon you've you ever made? Was the it the, first, the, the, the spiny lobster one? No, the very first goon I made was just trying to make a regular cream crab cheese. classic. Yeah, I um, had a friend that used to eat the imitation crab sticks, like the like cheese sticks. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was pretty yeah, gross. No, <laughs> I've tried that, but it's not for me. All right, we probably have enough to start frying up. All right, here's the Ben Mintz Rangoon. <laughs> Be very careful with it. Good luck. Those look great. I was about to say, they look good. Here comes Mincy. Yep. <laughs> Damn, it smells good here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, first up, we got the Gumbo Goons. And Mince is back to sample them. I'm a lot better at eating food than, than putting it together. Yeah, well. Keep that one says. This one's yours? Wow, this, look at this thing. I mean, that's a monster. I mean, it's a monster. So, this is the first time I gotta say, I've had like crawfish rangoons. I've never had a gumbo rangoon. I don't know on, if it's ever been done. It's like a soup dumpling gone wild a little bit here. Well, and we left out a lot of the soup. So, hey, hey, hey Mince, I think you should go for a dip. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You go for a dip. Mm. Wow, that's so good. Go for a dip, Mitz. Mm. That's a lot better than I expected it That's freaking spectacular. I like the, what's the dust you put on there? Tony's. Tony's, the little Tony's on it. It's like, uh, you know how you dip your like French dip, but this is with gumbo instead of au jus, which is a hell of a lot better. Yeah. Mm. Man, this is awesome. So it is like, yeah, it's warming the soul. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a, a rainy day out. So mm -hmm. this is perfect. I love the concept of dipping it in the broth. It's, the, the, it really like sets it off. It does, but it still stays crispy with the fried texture. Man. Megan, did you help make this come back? I made oh, it all. She, she made all of it. All right, now we're going crawfish. But what would you what would you rate the gumbo goons, Donnie? I enjoyed eating those gumbo goons more than I've enjoyed just eating a gumbo? bowl of gumbo. Yeah. Yeah. I like, did too. I'm gonna go back and probably eat four more of those, <laughs> but I just I want to have a fresh palate. I will say that's eat. a heavy goon. Like you, you might only be able to like get to like knock down two or three. All right, um, Missy, these are the, the crawfish ones. Okay. So crawfish, Louisiana crawfish. Pistolet rangoons. Cheers. 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 Gooned up. Here we go. Those are fantastic too. Now I've never tried a crawfish pistolet. Do they taste like one? Very similar. These are freaking awesome. Wow. These are so good. Velveeta, man, it works incredible in a goon. I gotta go back for round two. No dip on this or dip? I don't even think it needs a dip, a little dusting. One of the better goons I've had on this show. Yeah, I got room for one more, but I don't know what to do. I'd come to our crawfish because it's so freaking good. It's up to you, Mincy. The world's your oyster, shuck it. <laughs> I feel like I'm down the bayou. That's what I was trying to bring it up here. I miss. I got Louisiana crawfish. I got andouille sausage. Worked on that gumbo. It's got a jazz fest like concessions vibe to it here. That's what he this was saying. Is, he yeah. was going to get. I need to. Get a I need to open a booth down there and sell these. Megan making goons. Goons. We see, should see if a, uh, a few other people in the office want to try them. I don't I know. Want me to deliver them to the act? Yes. Well, well, this is from Wonton Don and Megan. I'm just the messenger. Well, this is a gumbo goon. Oh, gumbo goon. But you got to dip it. These are all fish instead of cream cheese. Like, it's my uh, favorite. Really the gumbo friggin' with yeah. Gumbo goon for chaps? I made the room, yeah. Yeah. And then this one's a crawfish one. Your dog is very chill. Most dogs start freaking out around goons. <laughs> Well, shout out Megan making money for bringing the Bayou to Barstool Sports. These were incredible. Mince, thanks for sort of wrapping one. That was appreciated too. I sure as hell enjoyed eating them. This was a delight. Put it in a goon, dude. <laughs>